How's it going guys? My name is Tavarish and today we are attempting to fix the broken convertible top in my SL55 AMG. So I know that I told you guys that the next video that I do on this car would just be me going around and going over all the faults but this one was kind of getting on my nerves just a little bit too much so I'm gonna try to fix this right now. This car doesn't have a convertible top that works and as you can tell for a hardtop convertible, that's sort of the point of this car, that just won't do. So today we're gonna try to fix it. And I was clued in to what the problem could be. Ugh, this is very heavy. Uh, what the problem could be in my last video, uh, because these little guys, these flaps are not supposed to be there. They're actually supposed to be right here. And uh, I think I know what the problem is. It's either a little uh, plastic or metal, um, it's like a collar that uh, Mercedes-Benz sells. Uh, they actually sell a upgraded part uh, because the one in this, uh, this part actually um, breaks over time. It's either that or I'd have to replace the entire sort of motor assembly for these flaps and I don't have that part on hand. So if it's not that little metal part, then we're sort of out of luck. Right now, I'm going to just take off these bolts and uh, see what the problem actually is. So I got this from parts.com and this is the part number. Check that out. That will be in the link in the description below. Let's see if we can, uh, yep, that's the part number. This is the uh, updated part and it has a lot of, uh, it is more reinforced than, it actually looks like it's metal, but it's, it's more reinforced than the part that we're taking off of there. So that should be the problem. There are two Torx bolts, let's see, on this side, one up here and one down here. When we take off the Torx, uh, this all should slide out pretty, uh, pretty handily and then we should be able to finagle the new part into place. It is gonna take a little bit of fiddling because uh, I have to get it on the right spline and make sure nothing's binding. But uh, other than that, this should be a pretty easy install. All right, so take a look at the old part and the new part. This is the old part. You can already see that it's bent. It is not straight and uh, that bend allows that amount of play. You can see that it's been sort of eaten up in the middle. And uh, you can actually see how thin it is in comparison to the new part. So the new part has some, uh, these are both metal by the way. I said plastic before, but I was wrong. These are, uh, these are metal. And uh, this has some reinforced bits right here. You can see that it is straight as an arrow. So yeah, let's put that one right on there. All right, after a lot of finagling uh, and trying to get this on the right cog, I finally did it. And this is what it's supposed to look like. I don't know if you guys can see this with sort of glare going on on a ba black background, but uh, it should be pretty much flush against the, uh, the trunk panel. And uh, see that nice, nice reinforced goodness right there. So um, there's also a, a 17 millimeter adjustment here, and this is a 14 millimeter. So what you're gonna need to do is uh, release this, it's a lock nut, and just spin the entire assembly around. At least that's how I did it. I actually don't know if this is able to move, but uh, I did it pretty ghetto anyway. But this should be uh, good to go. Now on to the right side. Actually, in the interest of time, we'll just take this as a given and uh, we'll go on to the meaty goodness. All right, now both of these flaps are in their correct positions, theoretically, with this thing in its in its uh, down position, this should be able to transform into a convertible. Let's see if that's possible. Okay, there goes nothing. Hold on, it's 
closed trunk separator. So. Alright, that didn't work. Uh, gotta figure out what's, what's going on. It uh, gave me a gave me a thing that said closed trunk separator and I'm not sure this is a trunk separator so I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do maybe it's one of these maybe it's a switch here I'm not quite sure hmm I'm gonna have to diagnose this further but uh god man I, I could have swore I had it. Yeah, there's no sensors on the... Uh... There's sensors everywhere. That's the problem. See, the trunk separator is definitely closed. It is closed. Take two. It just keeps on telling me to close the trunk separator. So, it might be, it might be a faulty part here. It just doesn't fall on my head. Yeah, I think it's... It might be this. I'm gonna have to do some more research and... Uh, well, that was a giant waste of time. So... Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, I am going to do some more research and see if we can get this actually into a convertible. But uh, I'm... I'm not happy. I'm not happy right now. I mean, the car still runs and whatever and it doesn't really do anything for uh for the driving experience it actually might make the car handle a little better with the top up but i don't want the wind in my hair i mean you can see see my hair uh it needs to have wind through it okay i'm uh, i'm rambling again yeah that's that's gonna be it all right now i didn't want to give up right away i didn't want to end that there so here's what i did uh since it said closed trunk separator this is the trunk separator. Actually, there's one on either side. Uh, I figured that these would be just simple switches and uh, maybe a switch went out. So what I did is I took out the electrical connection. Let's see if you can uh, focus. There we go. Uh, the electrical connection there. And uh, I just put a little piece of wire so that bridges the connection. And basically it uh, tells the uh, ECU that this is closed. Oh my God, why won't this focus? Okay, there we go. Uh, so. I will have, it'll have to be up to me to uh, actually close this, but I'm going to close this. We're going to close the trunk. Yeah, there we go. Got to sort of slam it. It's like, it's like old technology. You just got to hit a TV and it wor starts working again. Okay, so we are going to turn the car on and then see if our fix worked. Fingers crossed. Snap. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh, isn't that so awesome? So one little switch. One little switch prevented that from happening. Oh, and it gives me a hard top open, a successful open. Wow. This is this is a quite a good looking car. Oh. Look at that! This is great. I am so, so pleased. All right, so I have successfully fixed this car for around about 60 bucks. That's how much the Mercedes um, reinforced parts cost. And then just a little bit of ingenuity as far as the switch. I am gonna replace that switch, but uh, it seems to be working just fine. I gotta make sure that uh, I always have that trunk separator closed. Actually, let me, let me show you what that trunk separator actually does. So we open this up and the top is there. If you have anything on the bottom here, uh, it's gonna be hard to get to. Mercedes thought of that. Or not. Okay. Okay, I guess not. So this is supposed to come up and it does not. <laughs> okay, so that's another thing we gotta, we gotta fix but this is theoretically supposed to come up. 
whatever. Small victories, baby steps, baby steps. All right, well, whatever. The whole thing works and uh, it is ready for the drive to Florida. Well, not, not exactly. I have to do a ton of mechanical stuff to it, but uh, we'll get to that in the next video. So that was a result. That was a definite result. This thing has no top and topless is the best way to be. Um, yeah, I think this was a short video, but it was very fruitful. I know the last one was like super, super long, but I am very, very excited that I'm making progress with this car and uh, we will make progress still in the next video coming up. But uh, for now, I think I'll end it there. Um, as always, like, comment, subscribe, social. Uh, you can find me at Twitter. I'm at the Real That's uh, also on Instagram. It's the same thing. Uh, Facebook.com slash AskTavarsh. AskTavarsh at Gmail is where you can email me. I do read every single email. And uh, I want to thank every single one of my subscribers. We have almost 40,000 or maybe more than 40,000 at this point. Who knows? But uh, that is an astronomical number, but we can get that number higher. I believe in you, hope you believe in me, and I hope you believe in this car because you're going to be seeing a lot of it coming up. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it. Um, until next time, this is me telling you, especially on cars like this, to wrench every day.